1205141402. These aren't the tennis match scores of a rookie being battered. They are the results of Australia's last five bilateral ODI series. One might think that the Aussies went down and under after their top two batsmen were banned, but their slide had begun much earlier. Since the last World Cup, Australia have tried out as many as 42 players. With the next edition under five months away, the defending champs are nowhere close to a settled 11. Uh, with the World Cup coming up, yeah, I mean, we have to look at um, Smith and Warner um, coming back in and who goes around it. I think for Justin Langer, it's now trying to find a settled side. Um, obviously, the one day series coming up against India, players are being rested. Peter Siddle's playing at 37, so I don't see him probably in, in the, in the a team going forward for a World Cup. But we really need to, to work out um, what our side's going to be. I know we're resting bowlers, and now he's Smith and Warner out, but once we get all that back, pick our best side, focus, and, and really start working as a unit. Because by the time you get to the World Cup, you want to be consistent. Their batsmen have reached 300 in less than a fourth of their matches. But the side has managed to get bowled out more than any of these teams after the World Cup. The precious pace trio, which was rotated to manage workload, came together for tests against India, but is now being rested again. The new trio, taking on India, is the one against whom England smashed a world record score. It's now joined by Peter Siddle, whose last match in colours was so long ago, the country has since seen four Prime Ministers. Australia have recalled this test goat, but in ODIs, he's actually um, a mouse. When Smith and Warner return, they'll have no magic pills, but they will surely remind the team that a kangaroo never forgets how to make a big jump. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.